the Mendelssohns were um, one of the families, one of the few families who were heavily in the Bach already in the 18th century. And what's not often understood about Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi, and, and I would be, as his biographer, I would be the last to take anything away from the enormity of what he did when he was 20 years old and conducted the Matthew Passion after the centenary of silence. But what a lot of people don't understand is that there were many other Mendelssohns, uh, members of his family, who were also very interested in it. You know, we can start with his mother, Leo, who was a, a, an accomplished pianist. She was playing the well-tempered clavier when she was growing up. Then there was his great aunt, Sarah Levy. Um, she had not only studied with Wilhelm Friedemann Bach, another one of J.S. Bach's sons, but she was one of the patronesses of Carl Philippe Emanuel Bach. She was the one who commissioned a very unusual piece of Emanuel Bach from his last years, a double concerto that he wrote for harpsichord, forte piano, and orchestra. That was her commission. And she played uh, this music, and we know that she was playing the Fifth Brandenburg Concerto in 1808, at a time when hardly anybody knew what the Brandenburg Concerti were. Um, Abraham, the father, was very interested in uh, finding Bach manuscripts and collecting them. And then there is the extraordinary case of Mendelssohn's sister, Fanny Mendelssohn, who became Fanny Hensel. Like her brother, she was a child prodigy. And we know that she was playing the well-tempered clavier. We know that when she was 14 years old, she was playing uh, all of the preludes of one of the parts uh, from memory for her father. So the family um, was heavily interested in, in Bach's music at a time when it just wasn't in the collective musical consciousness of their contemporaries. And then there was the Zing Academy, uh, founded by Fosch um, in the early 1790s. The Berlin Zing Academy grew to become a, a, a very important amateur choral organization that specialized in 18th century sacred music in particular, the music of Bach and oratorios of Handel, also Fosch's own music. When Fosch died in 1800, it was taken over by Carl Friedrich Zelter. Zelter became the composition teacher of Felix and Fanny, and um, he's the one who put them through a very rigorous course of composition. Uh, he taught them figured bass, counterpoint, chorale harmonizations, uh, the same way he had been taught by Fosch, in the same way that one of Fosch's colleagues, Kierenberger, who had been a pupil of J.S. Bach, had been taught by Bach. So there is didactically a, a kind of direct line of transmission from Bach to Kierenberger to Fosch to Zelter to the Mendelssohn children. So it's, it's a kind of connected line. 